the larger EQS SUV can't match this smaller Mercedes EQ model's looks. Mercedes has already introduced us to the pinnacle of its new EQ world of electrified products with the top-end EQS sedan and SUV, which are controversial looking but also chock full of technology and opulence. But with six-figure price tags and huge footprints, both EQS models aren't exactly brimming with broad appeal. To expand to a lower rung of the upper crust ladder, Mercedes is introducing the EK class lineup, which started with the 2023 EK sedan and gains momentum with the addition of the five passenger 2023 Mercedes EQ EK SUV. Like the conventional E class, the EK is a midsize, more affordable option that still delivers the luxury, performance, and latest tech bends customers expect. Not surprisingly, the EK SUV looks like a smaller replica of the EQS SUV. While the downsizing of the sedan has been criticized for taking the EQS's blobbish proportions and making them worse, the opposite is true of the SUV. The larger model's windswept proportions suit the smaller EK better, leaving it looking more like a normal SUV and less bulbous. A scaled-down EQS The EK SUV's wheelbase is 7.1 inches shorter than the EQS SUV, with significantly shorter front and rear overhangs beyond each axle. It also is slightly shorter in length than the EK sedan. As we already mentioned, the SUV also looks better than the EK sedan, being 7.5 inches taller helps the roofline, and blacking out the roof and rear spoiler make the vehicle look sleeker in profile without physically lowering the roof, maintaining headroom and cargo space. There is an available AMG line appearance package for those who don't want to go full performance with the 2023 Mercedes AMG EK SUV which will be the first AMG electric SUV. 3 US versions coming. This is a global vehicle, but here in the US we will get the 288 horsepower, 417 pound to foot EK350 plus with a single motor in the rear, the 288 horsepower, 564 pound to foot EK354 Matic with dual motors for AWD, and the more powerful EK504 Matic with 536 horsepower, 633 pound to foot dual motors. The SUV has the same 90.6 kWh battery as the sedan, with pouch cells packaged into 10 modules. Range is estimated at 342 miles on the optimistic European WLTP cycle, so the eventual EPA figures will be lower. A new heat pump in the HVAC system draws less energy from the battery when managing cabin temperature, increasing range. Like the rest of the EQ family, great effort went into aerodynamics. The engineers targeted a 0.26 coefficient of drag, and so the EK boasts a fully enclosed underbody and mirrors mounted on the doors to improve aerodynamics and reduce wind noise. The EK comes with a steel spring suspension standard, and air suspension is optional, as is rear steering which can turn the rear wheels up to 10 degrees. The 4MATIC AWD models get a front axle disconnect system, given the more efficient permanent magnet motors that create drag when they're not in use. All US models will ride on 21-inch wheels. There is no frunk, all the Mercedes EQ models use the space vacated by the engine to house HEPA filters instead, and the hood is fixed shut. Honey, I shrunk the interior. Inside, the EK is a scale model of the larger EQS, albeit with no third-row seat. The EQ signature, and massive, hyperscreen is optional and owners can personalize the passenger side screen with as many as three personal photos from the Mercedes Mi app to use as screen savers. The vehicle has the latest Mbux multimedia system with navigation. Standard screens include a 12.8-inch center touchscreen and 12.3-inch instrument cluster in front of the driver. The MB Tex vegan leather interior is standard but buyers can opt for Napa leather. Other recycled and sustainable materials are used throughout the cabin. Massaging seats are an option. Dolby Sound. The sound system will make your chest vibrate. The EK SUV is the first vehicle to be certified by Dolby to use Dolby Atmos 4D 360-degree sound which requires Atmos-enabled sound files and creates an experience similar to being in a movie theater. Atmos comes with the optional 15-speaker Burmester stereo upgrade. Another addition. Apple Music with spatial audio will come fully integrated into the Mbux infotainment system, making the immersive music experience available on a non-Apple device for the first time. Like the EQ models to date, there is a choice of soundscapes, silver waves, vivid flux, roaring pulse, and a new addition, serene breeze, all of which come through the cabin via the Burmester sound system. In a further evolution of the puddle lamp, the field of three-pointed stars projected on the ground actually twinkle. Gotta have tech. SUVs should be able to leave the pavement, or at least look like they can, to capture buyers' imaginations. The EK has an off-road mode like the one in the EQS SUV, which we've found is quite capable, especially when paired with the air suspension and rear steering to navigate tight trail turns. 
there is a large menu of optional driver assistance systems to help control, speed, braking, steering, lane changes and parking. The EK SUV will join the EQS SUV on the assembly line in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, with batteries sourced from the new plant next door. The EQS SUV is launching in March.